So now we're going to check out the really cool new capabilities for iOS. So we're, what we're focused on is how we're now using DDUI. And this is going to be a much bigger look at DDUI to see how actually useful it is. So the, the thing I wanted to see was, could it tell me all the, the capabilities, say, that were available in iOS 15? So if I type in iOS 15, see what happens. So it shows you there's one restriction. And if you scroll down and you look, and it's a little tough because this thing is tabulated, but you'll see in a second. I'm trying to remember where this is. So it picks up on the labels. So it's not just picking up on searches, but also on labels. So like, for example, this is for managed pasteboard. So like I would hit add and then, you know, require managed pasteboard capabilities. And it's, you know, really useful from that perspective because you can see all the different profiles that are involved. You can click on that, click on these little labels up here and it takes you right to it and you can see, you know, there's single sign-on or, or whatever it happens to be. And like I said, it's extremely cool how they're, how they're doing it. And it gives you an idea of kind of how powerful DDUI is, is it very easily helps you kind of create an a la carte profile from that perspective. Um, the other thing that I'm really excited about is the home screen layout new capability. So now in home screen layout, let's check this out here. So now you can, you can now add web clips to your dock. You know, so with your, with your other apps, the old pages if you want to. But like, that's another one of those great capabilities. They've now brought our web clips now to the entire app screen layout, or home screen layout rather, for those of you who are on supervised devices. And this should give you a really good idea of how these new capabilities for iOS and how important DDUI is for us kind of moving forward in delivering great experiences for not just your users, but your admins.